with Perry Louise, host David Allen Greer. From the Gotham Comedy Club in New York City, live, all happening right now. Up for Carrie Louise. <laughs> I'm a mother of twin baby boys. Yes, it's true. Yes. Thank you. They're in the car. And uh, you get judged as a mother. I'll never forget early on. I'm walking my twins. This woman comes up to me. Those are twins. You shouldn't dress them alike. You know, they're individuals. And I want my boys to be individuals. So now every time I dress them, I always dress one of them as a girl. So... Uh, that's working out. And, and you know, I'm not one of these moms. It's so rewarding being a mom. I'll tell you like it is. Yeah, it's not rewarding, okay? It's not. I don't have a reward. I don't have a reward. You know when I'm gonna get my rewards? When they're changing my diapers. Yeah, yeah that's right, yeah. Get the evil twin out here. It's his turn to change mummy. Timeouts don't work. Timeout. You know who needs a timeout? Me. Mommy needs a timeout with her sippy cup filled with vodka. That's what mommy needs. That's right. That's right. I'll be in a corner for five minutes and I'll be quiet. I promise. A little mummy juice isn't going to hurt anybody. It's just going to save some lives. I'm a good mom. I think. I don't know. I'm better than Britney Spears. I'll tell you. <laughs> and I wanted to go for the girl with the two boys at home I wanted to go for the girl right so I did all this research on how to have a baby girl I got this book do you know that you have to change your diet you can eat certain things different sexual positions I'm telling my husband about it he's reading he's like ah oh, let's have sex this way this way will get us the girl and I'm looking at it going honey uh, that way will get us no baby whatsoever mm -mm. <laughs> not having sex that way so I got pregnant again, and I was so excited, but I was afraid to find out. I wasn't gonna find out, I'm afraid to find out who the father was. So, um, <laughs> I wanted to be surprised. <laughs> and I was, another boy. Oh, I'm all right. I'm all right with three boys. The last one, he's gay. He's gonna be gay. He has, yeah, the room's painted pink already, people. I, yes, I need to go shopping with somebody. Come on, I love shopping. I love bargains. Oh my God, I gotta go bargain hunting with someone. I love bargain. To me, finding a bargain is like having an orgasm. Right, we've been in that store, that is half price. Oh my God, that is, oh my God, that is half price, right? Yes, finding a bargain, that's true. Finding a bargain is like having an orgasm. Well, not really, I mean, if you think about it, I couldn't fake a bargain, so. Oh, the guys are moaning at that one. But no, I'm a good mom. I have goals for my boys. Here's my goals. When my boys are like, um, like 15 years old and their friends come over to play, I want their friends to say, man, your mom's really hot. <laughs> That's right. Don't judge me, people. I want to be a yummy mummy. Listen, <laughs> wait for it, hear me out. There's advantages of being a yummy mummy. When my boys are that, that old and I go away for the weekend, they're going to plan a huge party. They're going to call all their friends. Dude, yeah, my parents are away. Come over, we're having a huge party. What, your mom's not gonna be there? Pfft, I'm not coming over. <laughs> See what I mean? I don't know if I can be a yummy mommy. I'm working my ass off, trying to get my ass off. Is it still there? Is it there? I, you know, and, and I have to multitask with these kids. I'm running on that treadmill while I'm breastfeeding. Yeah, I don't think milkshakes are good for the children. But I don't care as long as I look good. And they want to feed me. How can I say no to my gay one? They want to feed, you know, I can't, you know, the cookies and the chicken nuggets and the wine. I can't keep up. I want the tummy tuck. I need the tummy tuck. You know why? People ask me if I'm pregnant all the time. Oh, yeah, I look good now, but it's all fucking duct taped. I'm on TV, people. I'm not messing around. But I look pregnant, I do, I look pregnant sometimes. I had twins, okay, I was stretched out. I had a belly ring that flew off and hit my doctor in the eye. <laughs> yes, and if it's that time of the month and I'm a little bloated and I haven't shit in a while, four months pregnant, I swear to God. <laughs> yes, and people ask me, wait a minute, it's not people, it's not people, because guys, you are smart. You don't say anything, you're, you're smart. Don't say anything, just look up, just look up, don't say anything. <laughs> 
But women, we get too excited. Some woman actually wanted to touch my belly one time, I swear. She's like, oh my God, are you? And I'm like, no. Mm. It was the worst 30 seconds of my whole entire life. So now I just make it up. It's a much better conversation. I just say, I fake it. Yeah, I'm having my baby girl. <gasps> oh my God, you look great for four months. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> She's like, you don't even look pregnant. When you turn around, you don't look pregnant. I'm like, I know. <laughs> so let me give you some advice, people, okay? Because this is a lo long story. This woman happened to be a lactation consultant. And now I have an interview with her the Tuesday after my fake baby's born so she can help me breastfeed. <laughs> So don't ever ask a woman when she's due, okay? I don't care if she's out to here and she's rubbing her back going, oh my God, my ankles. Don't ask her. All right, I don't care if there's a foot hanging out of her hoo-hoo, people. Don't ask her if she's pregnant until she says, you moron, I'm having a baby, call 911. Then congratulate her, but call 911 first. That baby's breech, she's gonna need some help. <laughs> oh, no, I have better goals. Not just the yummy mummy. I want them to be smart. Very smart. I don't know about my little one. He can't even poop. I mean, I am doing, I'm do, I'm doing everything to potty train him. I went out and got a little potty seat that's shaped like a football and it's this thick like a cushion with handles. Who wouldn't shit on that? I used it, it's really comfortable. <laughs> He's sitting on it in front of his favorite video, his favorite sippy cup, favorite drink, lights are low, incense, candles burning, I'm rubbing his back. <laughs> inhale, exhale, the poop's gonna come out. You can do it, honey, inhale, exhale. All of a sudden, one of my twins is yelling, Ma, I don't feel good. I'm like, you're fine, just eat something. Inhale, exhale, the poop's gonna come out. He's like, Mom, I'm serious. I go, look, he's white as a ghost. He's gonna hurl. The next thing that comes out of my mouth is, get out the toilet! Get out the toilet! I whip him off just in time for my son to hurl. Now my little one is traumatized. He is, yes, he will never poop again. I scared the poop up inside. I will be walking him down the aisle going, inhale, exhale, the poop's gonna come out. My sister, <laughs> my sister gave me a potty training tape. She's like, this is gonna work, watch this. I'm, I kid you not, this song comes on. You're a super duper pooper, always wipe front to back. <laughs> I'm looking at this tape thinking, I've been wiping myself wrong <laughs> this whole time. Wait, what the hell was this? I didn't have this tape. All I knew was don't sit on a public toilet, right ladies? We walk into that bathroom stall, we're praying to God there's something there to hold on to for dear life, oh my God. <laughs> I hope I don't have to take, stay here long. My legs are getting tired. And men laugh, you have it so easy. It's a good day for you when there's a cigarette butt in the toilet. Sink the boat. <laughs> we, we have it, thank you. <laughs> we have it so, we have it so rough. Ladies, you ever go to a gas station, a gross gas station, you ask them where the bathroom is, they give you a keychain attached to a tire, it's this big. <laughs> You open it up, you look inside, why are they locking this? It's disgusting. You can't even breathe. You, you, you're holding your nose because it stinks so bad. You don't want to pull down your pants because the floor is corroded. You hold up your pants and you hold in your nose and you stick in your bottom. Not too much because your pee will splatter, hit the ass, disease central. All right, hurry up, Carrie. Don't get stage fright. Breathe out, Carrie. Oh my God, there's no toilet paper. I got to drip dry. This stinks. For me, going to the bathroom, I had three boys who think they're men and they want to go in the men's room. And they're like, we're men, we're men, and, and we're embarrassed going in. And it's like, how can I explain to them? I'd rather you be embarrassed with me than molested with them. Now come with me. <laughs> come with me. You two go in and don't touch anything and don't talk to them. Yes, you can touch your pee pee to pee. That's it. Just go. Don't pee on your brother. Make an X. <laughs> I'm going to be a... I'm gonna be in the big stall with my favorite one. Now I'm holding him and squatting and I gotta let him down just so I can wipe myself, let the games begin. I become the best basketball defender. Don't touch that, don't touch, don't touch the latch. Don't open that door. Tommy, hi. I know he's cute, yes. Can you get the door? <laughs> the next thing you hear is my son saying, mommy, inhale, exhale, the poop's gonna come out. That's it for me.